Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. It's the next in line of the Queen's Beast series, The Yale of Beaufort. Stephen Heath was kind enough to send me an image of the silver two ounce next Queen's Beast coin. This is the Yale of Beaufort. And we're gonna study it a little bit. Uh, but first thing I noticed, is what's up with all those spots? Well, upon a little bit of research, I found on the silver form a reference to the to the Wikipedia article on the Queen's Beast, and you can see the Yale was a mythical beast, supposedly white and covered with gold spots, and able to swivel each of its horns independently. Quite fascinating indeed. Uh, it descends of the Queen through Henry the Seventh, who inherited from his mother, Lady Margaret Beaufort. The shield shows a porticulus surrounded, surmounted by a royal crown. The porticulus uh, uncrowned was a Beaufort badge, but was used both crowned and uncrowned by Henry the Seventh. So quite fascinating indeed, there it is. And um, you know, it's quite a departure from the, the Falcon uh, as you see a lot of empty space here, but I think it's kind of in line with some of the prior releases. And I think it's kind of a nice design. It's a uh, pretty cool looking, looks kind of sinister sort of there with the horns and the, and the rams type horns there and the tusks for sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, so it's got the, the gold spots there. It's fascinating indeed. Let's take a look at the gold version here. We can see this is a one ounce gold rendering here that shows um, the creature and the shield there. Fascinating indeed. Uh, there's no release date on these. These images um, essentially uh, go to LPM's website, but the listing for those are erased. So those, those, those listings are gone. So I'm not sure when they're going to be released, but my guess is it's probably in March. Um, we'll be take pre-orders for them. Uh, I will certainly get the two ounce silver and the quarter ounce version to continue, uh, the quarter ounce gold version to continue my collection there. But fascinating indeed. Now this is one coin that perhaps we could see in aftermarket uh, use. In other words, the silver version, imagine if they gilded just the spots in gold. Uh, that would be quite a... Uh, uh, a representation that I think would probably serve pretty well in the secondary market. Uh, kind of a neat idea, you know, the gold spots there for this creature. The Yale of Beaufort. Two ounce silver and uh, one ounce gold. Now, as you know, these coins also come in very high premium proof versions that don't have the background. I think the, uh, the uncirculated versions actually look better, in my opinion. They also come in 10 ounce silver, uh, one ounce gold and quarter ounce gold and one ounce platinum. Uh, now for me, I'm just only collecting the two ounce silvers and the quarter ounce gold, which are the least expensive options of all the other ones out there. Uh, but nonetheless, I do kind of like this uh, design. Um, some on the silver form are saying, yeah, it's quite ugly, but it's a must have for the collection. So by ugly, I'm probably, they probably mean the creature itself is ugly. And yes, it sure is. And was probably meant to be ugly, but I think it's a well-designed piece in keeping with the Queen's Bee series. I think it's a return actually, where I think the Falcon in, in some cases kind of was a somewhat of a departure from the theme, uh, in a sense, and how the wings were spread out like that. But nonetheless, there it is. Post your thoughts below on these designs. And again, thank you to Stephen Heath, Stephen Sheffield Heath, for sending the, uh, me an image of this. I uh, would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.